Hi, welcome to Briones Pickleball. My name is Jordan Briones, and in today's video, we're going to talk about three simple ways to hit an earning. Now, let's jump right in. All right, so in today's video, we're going to talk about the Ernie. This is one of the sneakiest shots in pickleball, and if you can execute it well, it's usually an outright winner. This shot is used a lot in high-level play, and it's definitely a surprise shot, and just the threat of an Ernie shot can cause your opponents to make mistakes and make errors. All right, so for those of you who do not know, what is an Ernie shot? An Ernie shot is a shot that is played along the sidelines. So you are either jumping across or over the non-volley zone and hitting your shot near the sideline here, or you can come around or step through it. All right, so for the Ernie shot, this Ernie shot is a shot that just can't be hit at any time. You have to set it up. So the first thing we're gonna go over is what are we looking for? We are looking for a ball that is going to be hit from our opponent that is really close to the sideline so that I can pick it off as a volley. If our opponent is hitting the ball really close to the sideline here, I can position myself to volley a ball out of the air and surprise them. And this ball will actually get to them a lot quicker as if I was standing right here at the non-volley zone line. All right, so now that we know what we're looking for, now we're gonna talk about how to set it up. So there are several ways to set it up, but I would say just the most basic way is to hit a ball close to the sideline in an angle kind of coming off the court and a ball that your opponent is forced to let bounce or let drop. So you really want to hit a ball that they actually have to half volley and let bounce because when you place a ball in a corner close to the sideline like that and it bounces, your opponent is going to have to place their head down to watch the ball and during that time as they're looking down, that's when you wanna make your move. All right, so now we're gonna show you two quick examples of how this Ernie is set up. All right, so now that you saw those examples, you can see what I'm trying to do is pull my opponent off the court a little bit, force them into a low ball that they have to contact either a little bit behind them or on the side of them. That is the time that I want to make my initial move. And in this case, I'm jumping over the non-volley zone and I'm hitting it with a backhand. You could definitely do this with a forehand, but you gotta really be pretty athletic and you gotta create a lot of space. Now, where are we aiming our Ernie shot? Again, their head is down, they are looking at the ball and they're just trying to get the ball over. And this is why I'm trying to leave at the right time when they're not looking and I'm trying to attack the ball here. Now, if I could get the ball down at the feet, that's the first place I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna try to get it down. The last place that I wanna go is, is like right here, right at their chest because they can have their paddle right here. So what I'm trying to do is go right at their feet. I could try to go kind of towards their dominant side, uh, dominant hip, or I can go right towards the middle of the court. All right, so those were examples of the jumping Ernie. I'm going to show you two different variations of the Ernie, which are a lot easier. The first one is the Ernie where you come across the non-volley zone. And the thing that you have to watch out on this one is you gotta move your feet quick and you have to establish both feet outside the non-volley zone. So you gotta have both feet planted before you strike the ball.
And the last one here, I can go around, around the non-volley zone line and set up here with a, with a backhand or a forehand. When you're going through the non-volley zone, you have to make sure that you have both feet set outside on the sideline before you hit the ball. If you're going around it, you don't have to worry about establishing your feet. So to summarize, to hit an Ernie in three simple steps, the first thing is going to be placement. We have to place the ball really well. The second thing is going to be the timing. All right, we don't want to move too soon or we can't move too late because we won't be there. Okay, we got to move at the right time. And the third one would be execution and shot placement. Where do we put in place this ball? Remember, we want to place it down at the feet if we can or straight down the middle of our opponents. Thanks again for watching this video. For exclusive pickleball content from me, check out briannispickleball.com. For awesome pickleball paddles like this one, make sure to check the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Live your life within the moment.